Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna be discussing and showing you how to build a simple LBO model. Now an LBO model is the bread and butter of a private equity firm. But of course, if you work in investment banking or venture capital, or even just trying to understand stock market investing, it's really good to have a handle on how this works because it equally is relevant to any investment in business. Yes, you might not be doing a leverage buyout of a public stock on the stock market, but that's okay because you can just assume debt is zero. And then otherwise, it just basically is how much money are you putting in to this stock or this business that you're buying and how much are you getting out at the end? Now, this is all going to be depending on essentially how much of the business you're buying, what is the business fundamentally worth, including what are the multiple you're paying for it, how much that business is going to grow over the next six years, including what that EBITDA is going to be in the year that you exit it, how much cash is that business going to generate over that time, and where is that cash going? Is it going to go pay down the debt, or is it just going to accumulate and sit in the bank balance, which then you can add to the valuation of the business, because cash is an asset in the business, and debt, if there is any, is a negative aspect of the business. So essentially, when we get to exit, we're going to calculate the business on a multiple of EBITDA, add your net debt, which is the sum of your debt and cash, gets your equity value, less the percentage that you've invested in it. And then it's a very simple case of how much you're putting into the business, and then how much are you getting out at the end. And that equates to things like how much money multiple you're going to get on the deal. So basically, if we put in, for example, 6.9 million, or 17.1 million, we're basically getting a two and a half return on that money in four years, one, two, three, four, which basically equates to a 25% a year gain on investment. So the only reason it's called a leverage buyout model is because there's an important element of this model that private equity in particular like to use because it really juices returns, which is bank debt or leverage. And this bank debt basically reduces the amount of money that they need to put in so instead of using their own money to get this return, they can borrow someone else's money and say put in half of that of their own money and the rest is debt. Now, of course, private equity also get the benefit of being able to put that debt on the balance sheet of the company, which probably a venture capital has less control over. And as a public stock market, you can't invest or you can't do that. So the only difference between a private equity LBO model and any other valuation analysis of a company is really just the L of the leverage buyout model. Otherwise, this is a really great exercise if you're interested in learning about investing or whether you want to get into a career in investment banking, private equity, venture capital, or any other, any other finance role. It's really important to kind of understand how evaluation works, how to model out at a very, very high level, how the company is growing, etc., and so forth. So these videos, we've got a series of these. We're basically going to show you the components, how to build each of these. Um, and I guess the key caveat, this isn't the level of detail that you do if you're building a model, an investment bank or a private equity firm. Maybe if it's the first look at a company, this is just very simplified. You wouldn't expect this level of detail, but it gives you a really good understanding of how a more detailed model would work. What are the components, how to build each, how to value business, what is the sources and uses? How to build out some high level assumptions about a PL and cash flow and balance sheet, at least the key items on the balance sheet. And then how do you generate and, and evaluate kind of returns? So we'll be doing this over the next few videos. Probably the only other thing to draw to attention is we've got these very simple charts at the top, and this is just really a simplification of what this model is all about. If you're using debt, how are you paying down that debt over time? And secondly, how much money are you putting in and how much are you getting out? And then looking at those assumptions and seeing how sensitive each of those are to change on your return. So for example, if you were to pay a lower multiple up front to buy the business, what would that impact on your returns? If you use less debt or more debt in the business, how would that impact return? So we'll go through all of these in the next few videos. Um, but yeah, other than that, looking forward to seeing you in the next video, but we'll get started building the model.